guys, it's me Trace from Refurbish in the Middle. I wanted to get on here because I'm working on the lampshades. And I just did that little bit there. I'm going to add to this. Um, <clears throat> so I said I would come on and I can just show you how I do it because there's a lots of spots, you know, the flowers I blended colors. So, um, yeah, let me come on up here. See, it really is pretty. And I was just going to show you how you could just layer away. Um, and I really want to add some more. And eventually, there's going to be some gold on here. So, okay. yeah, that's pretty good there. Okay. Um, I the, the IOD, I've got mine all cut up. It comes on one big sheet. This is the birds and branches and flowers. And this really is nice because it was all on one sheet, but I cut it all up so you can pick and choose. Um, when the IODs, when you get them, here's one that hasn't been used. They come on this uh, paper that you, you, you might as well use it, you know? You could trim, I trim around all these and smooth the edges off and then I can just stamp on stuff. And um, <clears throat> so you cut, you know, you have to cut this all apart. And I've used this one. Here's one, I thought I'm gonna put this bird up here, but I still wanna build some more and come around here. So I thought maybe we could do that together and you can just see what I do, because I do very simple. Um, so I've got a little cup here that I'm getting full of water. Oh, my brush. Okay. I do have spigot water, but it's way up there, so I'm not gonna subject you to me running up there. Okay, this one I did not um, use yet, this little bird, so I want to show you a couple things too that I do. When they're, when they're brand new, um, I like to take one of my sand blocks and just give it a quick little tooth. And honestly, I'm hardly doing anything. I just put a little tooth on there. And then it'll take the paint, it'll receive the paint. Cause it's got little tiny holes and nooks and crannies and you want the paint to fall in there so you'll get a good stamp. Um, let's see, another thing is you get all these beautiful branches. You could tell I've been using them. Um, I, I usually do wash. I decided not to wash because I knew I was coming back to do more in the same day. So I just left the paint. And a lot of what I do too is um, you just eye it up and see where you see. Because I want to start a new something coming here because here's the back and if they're hanging up, I really think it needs a whole other little part here. So let's, we'll do that. So I take this, I take this, I've got all my colors. I've got the paint. I'm using all Dixie Belle colors. I've got all warm colors. I've got um, chocolate, pine cone, buttercream, in the navy, collard greens, vintage duck egg, and um, peony, or no, I'm sorry, plum crazy and um, palmetto. So I've got the whole, a whole range here, I'll move this. I've got all the warm, warm colors. And I usually just leave all my stuff open like this and throw the lids on them in between when I'm painting. So I'm gonna see if I can paint right here. I just use a little brush. I left, like I said, I left uh, some of it on uh, the plastic. Oh, I better turn the camera, can't see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the chocolate because that's what I started with. I just swipe over the branch. 
Um, you can use a bray. You can use one of those sponges uh, with the little wooden handles. You can use a chip brush. You can use any, whatever brush you want to use, you can use doing this. Okay. I know I'm... All right. So, um, I said I was going to put one about, start right here. Um, you might want to take your finger and put it under the bottom. Um, I just come back lightly pressing on it. If you have, I have the, the paddles, but I don't know, this is curved and I didn't want to be denting, um, denting it up. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take another branch because I'm going to build my branches up as my base. So see, I'm just painting it on. And like I said, just use whatever brush works for you. Um, I just find it easier using this little brush because I'm gonna use multiple colors. I'm not gonna wait for it to dry before I move on to each, um, each color. Okay, let's see, so we got that. I want this to be, because I'm gonna put a bunch of, um, the little flowers on here so that's all I do I just and then I press it down you could go like this if you feel comfortable like you know you're tapping your fingers you can do it a little heavier you could do it lighter and get less paint you can do it heavier get more paint um I like that let's see I should have let's see there's another branch but we're gonna have to do something to balance that out. I'll have to, I'm gonna put all the flowers and leaves and stuff. Let's see, I'll go ahead and put some leaves on here. Um, I'm gonna take a bigger set and put right there. I hope I'm put right there, okay? And I'm going to go ahead, rinse off my brush, the first one, I used 10 different brushes and I thought, well, that's that. We're just going to get water. So I'm going to use um, collard greens, which is one of my absolute loot favorite colors. I love this green. This is beautiful. Okay. So I'm just going to rub it on there, brush it on there. And then I'm Go ahead and um, it's almost easier for me to look in. Yeah, we'll just put it right there. Real easy. See? It's just amazing. You can just do so much neat stuff with these uh, stamps. Okay, so let's see. We got a leaf there. I am coming back. We're going to put some flowers in there too, but I'm going to put all the leaves on. I just have to look at it for a minute so I can see what direction I'm going because I don't want it looking all willy nilly. Okay. All right. So let's get some little leaves. I think I've got several little leaves and I still have that other bird too. I'm going to go ahead and put put let's see that could really stand another big set and then I can come in with palmetto and uh, put that color green on some other leaves like instead of they're all just one one color of leaves And I'm going to show you, too, how to do a little blending and stuff. And this just is so easy. That's why I wanted to get on here and, um, you know, do a video because it's just really easy. Okay, I said I was going to come back with this and the littler leaves, and I'm putting the palmetto on. 
Yeah, leaving that backing on there just makes these a little stronger so you can work really good um, with your hands. Okay, all I'm doing is tapping it a little bit. And if it lifts up, don't worry about it. It does not have to be perfect because I'm still going to be putting stuff over top of all this. Um, yeah, I'm doing more stuff to it. I'm going to go ahead too and put um, some of these different colored ones down there. And I will go through and put some blending in those ones too. Okay. Sometimes the littler they are, the harder they're to hold on to. <laughs> so, oh, that looks good. And we don't even have any flowers on there yet. So let's um, let's go. To, we'll move on into some flowers, so I can show you too how to do some of them um, and blend them because this is really super simple. Okay. <clears throat> now we got all these beautiful flowers we get to add. I try to sometimes um, size up like this before I, and don't be afraid to overlap either. Um, okay, let me wash my brush. I'm going to go ahead, I guess I'm going to go ahead and use buttercream right here. Okay. And I opted on this instead of fluff because buttercream's just warm and I wanted to stay in keeping with all these warm colors that I'm using. Okay, so I've got that. I just covered it all. And then, um, let me grab it on the brush. Okay. I just go ahead and take your little brush and just dip it on the tips of this little brush and then honestly all I do is okay can you see that I just go like this I do like an X and a an there and in an there and then um, I just that's what I do I go all the way around yes I'm dunking back in the color I'm sorry I I just do it Let's do the, ooh. and even if you got it thick, don't worry about it because flowers aren't that perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna take my buttercream. I'm just gonna get a little bit on it so the brush is damp. And I'm just gonna go ahead and all these little, I'm just gonna gently, 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 just very, very gently pull that pink out a little. Not real, you know, this one's gonna be a little thicker, but it's gonna be all right because that's the way flowers grow. And you can always too put some more, put some more of this back on here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this and I already decided that we were gonna just go right there, right down here, <clears throat> right down here and um, I'm just gonna throw them flowers right there. Wait till this comes off. Let me pull you up here closer. Look at that. Here, wait a minute. Let me stand, I didn't rub this bottom one. Let me put that down a little more because I do want just a little more. See, sometimes when you have a real flexible lamp shade, you have to go through, okay. And look at that. Look how pretty that is. And I don't even mind. That's that one that had that big clob on it. I don't mind. I'll come back to with um, one of these brushes. And um, just come back with your little brush and just sort of like. See? And you can poof them all right back up. So, I think this is going to be so pretty. So, we'll go ahead and we'll put some more on here. 
Um, we're gonna do some big ones. I need a couple white big ones. I don't know, these remind me of dogwood, the branches and everything, and we have a lot of dogwoods where I live, and I love them. I happen to have a white one in my yard that the wisteria has just about choked out. Okay, whoop. So there's my little dog wood. I loaded all the paint on it. Let's see. Let's see. Do, do. I definitely want to put it right there. And that's, you're just going to have to look at everything too and eye it up. But trust me, you could probably just go boop, 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 boop all over and it'd be done. You know, go hilly nilly and just so. And another thing too, um, mine's probably leaving a little, see how it's splotchy? That's because I didn't wash them off. Um, but I don't mind that because that's, I don't want this to look all fresh and new. I'm going to be um, putting something all over it when I'm completely done. And you can just grab, like I like to take, let's see, where's one of the little, oh there it is, I'm sorry. Little baby one. And I like to take like a little one, this little misshapen one here and turn it in to the middle for that flower. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit there. And just sort of pull. Okay, let's see. And then that way I can put something, something will be in the middle of this flower. There. Um, and I can add more paint to it too if I feel like it. I like that. I'm gonna keep having to put, um, I'm gonna keep putting leaves and stuff on it. And I've got the other bird and I'm gonna come around this side. So um, that's pretty much what I do. A lot of times I'll take, let's see, where's the little leaves? Oh, there they are. Um, I've put the palmetto down and then I'll come back and I'll get my collard greens and white too, apparently. <laughs> we'll have to see if that's gonna show up. And I will go on some of these, like just to add a little color here and there. Or you could go ahead and take your brush and if you use your little, the, see the little square headed brushes, poke on an angle like that and you can get good crisp, crisp lines. And then you can put some lines in your leaves. Pull them out a little, just to, you know. Yeah. And then, let's see, I'll do that to these two. Stuff just seems to blend in a little better. See, all I'm doing is tapping down with this brush. I mean, I'm not, this is no skill whatsoever. You have these tools, and that's why I always say, you're only as good as your knowledge because if you mess around, you'll get, you know, you'll pick up these little tips and stuff. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's do, I'm going to put some of this in here too. Okay. There. So this is going to be really pretty. I'm going to, um, like I said, I've got to get that other bird. Maybe I'll put him on there now. So that way I can figure out how much more branches I need. So I really want him like swooping in and I really want 
him to be part of this focal point. So that's where I'm gonna put him. And I did them in, uh, I did the first one, I'm gonna do this one too, in the navy. And then I let that dry a little bit. Let's see. Let me come over here. afraid to go ahead and come back and you can put you know you could put his face back on but I'm gonna have to turn him to see <laughs> this will require me me see okay that's such a cute little thing too oh I'm sorry I'm probably making money bases okay much better he's a little darker there and I'm gonna let him dry too um and you know I've got to I'm gonna have to come with some branches coming in this way but basically this is the back of the lamp so this is gonna be the focal point so I'm gonna come up around with some branches here and I've got these branches here I may just go back one more, one more, one more set of them. Um, so a side view, you know? So when you walk in and they're hanging and you see, I don't want that empty right there. So, cause we could put another bird and stuff. All right, well, I just thought I'd share with you how I do this for this particular thing. Um, Sometimes I do use the, the big acrylic block, but that's if I'm doing something on straight surface. Um, this is so, um, you know, it moves. It moves and everything. So as always, um, you can always message me at, with any questions and check out my other videos on YouTube too and let me know if I've helped you because I think you know um, that's how it goes we all need to work together till the next time